hi viewers welcome to hello viewers thank you for watching so today's topic uh, little bit different i think this is the first time i'm doing the topic which is like uh, how your past is affecting your present okay that can be any area of your life and that past can be anything it doesn't mean that when i'm saying past like a past relationship past person past x no it can be as simple as some situation some experience some trauma something something happened in the past like one year ago or 10 years ago how it is affecting the present moment of your life okay so it is uh, it may be going to trigger you sometime because we are talking and i cannot say that exactly here you are going to receive triggering messages or until unless it is regarding your wounds okay past drama or wound the reason why i'm telling you are going to receive the trigger is something may be happened 10 years ago 20 years ago but still when you are watching the reading definitely when we have some wound trauma we don't want to touch it even though we know that we have it but we don't want to touch it we don't want to clean it we don't want to clear it the reason is because the moment we touch again we will recall all those memories again it will create some kind of disturbance in your in our mind or as simple as naturally it will disappoint us that's why we don't want to go back to that things here the reading itself is like how your past is affecting your future right so definitely it is very important for me to touch your past <laughs> so that is the reason i am telling so maybe which you maybe no i don't want to remember it i don't want to think about it maybe you are going to get messages about those things as simple as let me take it in a simple way like you have some ex or 10 years back 20 years back because of that person something happened you both broke up because of that person now you may be decided that no i don't want to trust anyone i don't want to trust in the relationships right like i i lost the trust in the relationship i don't want to trust any men or women based on your gender okay now when i am seeing like when we are doing the reading you may be still carrying that wound or the trauma about that person x so definitely i will <laughs> read the messages you will get that energy right again it will remind you of that experience but let it happen let it happen instead of getting triggered let it happen because here i am going to solve the issue i want to fix that okay so that that past should not affect your present or future okay if at all you fix it once it is not going to affect your present or future and that's what i want but when i'm touching definitely it is going to make you little bit uncomfortable trigger kind of thing so the reason why i'm telling is i think recently someone i get some comments which is like i understand the way they when i read the comment i can i can read their energy they get triggered and uh, they not exactly like shouting it is not shouting like they trigger come out in that uh, when they get trigger how they react that no it is not me it is not that i am not that i am not this so it is like they want to prove themselves no need to no need to okay uh, you no need to prove just listen to the reading completely and sit with yourself give time you time to yourself and analyze because as simple as uh, i think recently i shared some exp uh, uh, some situation about some lovers Uh, about that uh, misunderstanding between the two lovers in that situation actually the girl i'm not telling i'm not blaming but that woman not listened entire the story or entire com- conversation what is he, she heard she only heard only small starting conversation and she left him but the mistake is whose mistake that girl not like she is failed to listen entire conversation and she is not even came back to him and uh, ask what exactly it is so it is her mistake so maybe here when i am doing readings <laughs> somewhere you may be going to get such kind of messages which is like whatever happened in the past maybe it is your mistake mistakes will be there from both ends if something happened 
it is not that only one person is mistaken one person is wrong other person is like a saint no definitely two people involved means definitely but it is like it depends like how much percentage yours how much percentage theirs okay but when you get such kind of messages that that's how you behave that is the reason it happened don't get triggered understand analyze and ask yourself are you changed person or you are the same person when you were 10 years back okay so it is very important to understand because it is like a fixing your past so that when you want to you are present whatever you are doing in the present based on the current situation you should not get affected by that past okay let it end here okay once you read the re, uh, once you watch the reading i just want to end that past here itself for you so that after the next moment onwards you should not carry that past or that past should not affect your present or future okay that's what my intention i'm trying to do it that is the reason i'm again telling you know my readings it won't be like okay okay this is what happened that is what happened that's it no and moreover my readings are not like i want to convince you i want to please you i want to like i cannot sugarcoat because you need to listen the truth the moment you know the truth then only you can fix certain things until unless you won't know what exactly it is you'd never going to know what you need to fix that's where you are going to get triggered understand as i always say sit analyze and yes this is how you behaved this is what the energy you carried and ask yourself still you are carrying same energy then this is a time to change your energy okay anyway i'm there here to change your energies to help you to change your energies so one is enough don't go for multiple piles okay because it is about how your past is affecting your present even though you it may be sudden different things one is enough don't go for multiple piles it is my request okay uh if at all you think that no i want to watch come after one week 10 days and watch the reading for other pile okay that is no need just to fix what is affecting your past thing your present okay i don't think if at all you are until unless you are <laughs> not watching like multiple piles i don't want to suggest multiple piles okay strictly no for the multiple piles so let's get into the reading so pile number 1 who choose green pile okay okay how <laughs> your past affecting your present hmm. so meanwhile go and subscribe if at all you not subscribe if at all you already subscribe thank you for the subscription click the join button and have a look at our youtube store so how my pile number 1's past affecting their present not future i'm waiting future future how your past is affecting your present so meanwhile go and subscribe if at all you not subscribe if at all you already subscribe thank you for the subscription click the join button and have a look at our youtube store and watch the ads six of pentacle king of pentacle in the reverse the sun card how your past is affecting your present uh, six of pentacle okay king of pentacle in the reverse so your past your past in the past you may be like a very caring loving generous kind of person okay at least a very generous person who know if at all someone is in needy you may be the one who used to help them or you don't hesitate to help people who are in needy that is your character i can say or a nature okay that's how it is a beautiful thing okay kind generous empathetic nature where you carry that generous nature for everyone maybe you help people maybe a lot of people maybe got help from you then what happened king of pentacle in the reverse because of your kind generous nature at least your past okay L listen to me carefully i will come to the point where you are going wrong 
you lost all the money if at all in the past you are like a king of pentacle where you had a lot of money or at least a wealthy person very rich person uh, grounded person because here i'm seeing complete materialistic things okay so materialistically you are well wealthy at least you are completely wealthy but uh, because of your generous nature maybe people you give okay you help other people that's where you lost the pentacle like now you became not now okay you lost the finances you lost that ground lost that wealth now you have some new beginning in your life sun for that you should be like a two of wands which is like yes i'm ready for the new beginnings ten of wands but you are not in a position to say that yes anita i'm ready for the new beginnings the reason so it is present in the present moment you have some new beginnings in your life universe want to give some new beginnings to you but you are like no anita i cannot at least you are like no 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 i'm not ready for the new beginnings the reason is because of 10 of wands so here 10 of wands is some kind of burdens you are carrying as i said you lost the money that is nothing but you lost the ground so maybe because of that you are like no i had lot of money uh, once upon a time now i lost it uh, so it is very important for me to get that wealth back or at least now again i want to become that king of pentacle where it is now it is in the reverse i want to become king of pentacle uh, so for that whatever job i will get i am ready to take maybe you already took lot on your shoulders or at least one way it is like you are ready to take all the burdens on your shoulders so that you can get some strong stability that's how you are feeling i want to check why king of pentacle in the reverse because this is a six of pentacle if at all you are like a kind generous person you are you if at all you are helping someone no problem because it is six of pentacle means you maintain the balance but still you became king of pentacle in the reverse so past you what you are carrying in your brain is see anita i'm very generous very kind i help a lot of people because of that because of helping people today now i lost all my money that is what you are carrying in your head that is your past okay that fear i can say more than trauma it is like fear i lost money because once i am a very generous kind person let me check why because i am not seeing if all you are really the balanced person you never lose the balance then how come you became king of pentacle in the reverse let me find the reason what is that king of pentacle in the reverse knight of cups in the reverse hmm. you blocked your heart chakra i can understand maybe in the past listen to me carefully again i am telling in the intro also i told it is going to trigger you <laughs> but you need to fix this so that in front of you there is a new beginnings but somewhere you are not ready you, at least you are not showing that you are ready for the new beginning so here where you went wrong knight of cups in the reverse three of swords actually the thing is yes you are a king of pentacle but in the past you may be had money but you were never opened your heart chakra because of that listen to me carefully because of that maybe you hurted so many people because knight of cups in the reverse people who want to offer that cup of love to you very loving caring people okay this person not one person maybe some different people who carry that love for you okay especially these people are like emotions they know the value of emotions they know the value of that sensitivity they know the value of love okay feelings when either someone specially if at all you have someone approach you i'm not seeing exactly about one person here three of swords that means you completely blocked your heart chakra so you have money so i'm not even telling you are materialistic but you never thought to open your heart chakra which is like you never showed interest in love care feelings emotions and all you are like i have money if at all someone comes i'm ready to help them listen to me you are helping them i'm not even seeing here that you are overly helped someone no how it affected your wealth is you helped people 
but you never show love so when you are helping also i am a wealthy person i have money so if at all i have some crores of rupees if at all i am giving just some hundreds of rupees to someone some people who are needy nothing wrong so let's give it so listen to me <laughs> because even i am scared <laughs> generate the messages you did not help the people because of that generous kind nature you gave the money that i am in a position like i have money i am like a king of pantakal i am wealthy person if someone is coming to me like okay give give it to give it to them so there is no love there is no kindness when you are giving money maybe had that kindness but there is no love there is no feelings there is no emotions but just like okay i can help so that they can feel that yeah this person is very helping nature that help whatever you did it did not came from your heart it is just came from your mind okay you hurted so many people who came towards love with the love so you may be the one again a uh, really lot of triggering messages but it is going to help you okay maybe you may be used to treat people it is not a, like a bad way if at all someone comes towards you with love and all you don't even care them you don't even used to care at, at least like they are showing love feelings emotions towards you are like you may be going to hurt them but when someone is coming please you are like a king of pentacle i need money you will give it so it is like your nature maybe you know it or not that you need to fix your nature is like i'm like a something so everyone should be l- like this like you everyone should uh, <laughs> you want to be like a bigger person like you want to be like a great personality so the help whatever you did it is not out of love it is out of to, sh- to show everyone that i am the king of pentacle i have money if people need money they will come to me they will ask me i will give them what will happen when you have that kind of one way it is like stubborn nature one way it is like pride not exactly pride it is like in a one kind of no emotional mindset so whoever comes towards you they will only come for money they want to carry any kind of emotions for you the reason you yourself is a very practical are very materialistic so whoever comes okay this person have money and uh, i can go and ask they will give me yes they will get the money there is no emotions you won't show when you are helping them you won't carry any emotions at least i am not telling that you should feel emotional bonding to them at least we are helping means we should know their pain where they are coming from what they are you are not in a position you are like they want money i am giving they are treating me like a king of pentacle like some wealthy person some god kind of thing okay so they won't carry any love for you feelings for you the reason why they won't carry any love is if at all one or two people approach you approach you towards the cup also you used to break their heart because for you no emotions that is your past past personality because of that you lost king of pentacle wealth because whoever comes towards you they want money till the time you owe you they will take and you somewhere you became like that if it, you maybe don't have money that time it is like see you need to maintain equal give and take you had you gave it now you don't have so you should stop but you are like no because till the time people are respected me people are seeing me in a great position because i am giving the money if at all i stop now i lose that respect that is a difference okay that is a difference so when you stop like when you um, fail to maintain the equal give and take which is like you don't have money but still people are coming towards you because you give you want to show that you are the one who uh, who is like a giver you don't want to lose that person i can say or some kind of image you may be got you don't want to lose that image so you continued giving what happened you lost all the wealth now you don't have wealth you don't have money now 
you are in a position that i want new beginnings because see the difference this is king of pentacle you no need to go anywhere you no need to ask for any help people will come to you for the business for the help for the suggestion for the guidance at least investment also if at all you are a wealthy person people will come uh, uh, so, so, so this is what we have can you invest in our project can you invest in our whatever it may be financial investment some kind of uh, real estate investment some kind of project investment they will approach you for the investment you no need to go anywhere and ask that i want to invest in your business no that is the beauty of king of pentacle people approach you because they know that you are the king of pentacle you have a lot of money if at all they come towards you you are going to invest in their business it is going to help them it is going to give some profits for you also but now what you became two of wands what is two of wands looking for the new opportunities one way it is like looking for the new opportunities whoever carried that passion fire i want to work with you i want i'm ready to work with you if at all you are also having some idea i'm also having some idea or you we both have some goals let's work together and build that how different it is yes this is your past now you have new beginnings or you want new beginnings sun is like i want new beginnings okay but what happened two of wands is ready for the new beginning so you got the new beginning what you should do you should only if at all you got one project you should take that project first you should complete that project then you should go for the next project but you are like you already once lived like a king that is a difference okay once you lived like a king now you are no more a king so now you want to become a king maybe you had that idea like no i want to become a king again that time how i used to be now i want to become a king so whatever projects come you took everything this opportunity so because you are like a two of wands like two of wands it is like ready to take the opportunity ready to grab the opportunity but you are, even though you are ready to grab the opportunity how many opportunities you can take you can only take one or two which you can execute without any disturbance without disturb without any disturbance for your personal life as well as your emotional spiritual life let it be spiritual at least emotional that that is nothing but your mind should be balanced right that is what called balance you entered you are ready for the balancing only but once you attract the businesses you may be took projects took lot of projects which became now you are in a position of 10 of wands you have lot of work to do now 24 by 7 if you work also you don't know whether it is going to continue complete or not and moreover in the initially you had lot of energy fire passion the difference of this cards now in the starting you are like a even though you lost the king king position you became like a youthful energy at least you became like a youthful energy yes i am ready to do the things but after taking lot of which is like see i am not telling that over expectations are want over wanting lot of things at a time maybe you are like you thought that okay i'm getting the opportunity why should i lose so you grab all the opportunities now you became like a 60 20 and 60 this is the difference okay now you are in this position now also you are still closed your heart chakra the reason is in the past maybe at least you had love for yourself now you don't even have love for yourself enough friends you don't even carry that feelings emotions because where your body is aching where your body need attention which part of your body need attention you don't have idea you are simply like no i want to work because i have a lot of burdens i need to work i cannot stop lack of self love because you are completely closed your heart chakra this is how your past affecting your present what do you need to do things are clear you need to open your heart chakra first of all you need to drop the burden you need to love yourself self love is important here start you need to heal these things that heart break things because here i am not seeing lot of issues what you, how your past is affecting your present is your closed heart chakra whatever happened in the past that you you thought that no anita i am kind generous 
because of that i lost money so i don't want to open my heart chakra i don't want to uh, show that love towards the people no actually see listen to me even though you get hurt in the past also you did not showed any emotions to anyone okay you just give money maybe you thought that i'm giving money so that is a help uh, more than what you want no when you are giving money also you should carry that feeling it is not that i have money take it people when you when they are coming towards you they should not come only for the materialistic thing they should carry love also that's what you missed in in the past because of this closed heart chakra and not just that you hurted so many people who are very loving caring that is the reason why you lost king of pentacle that's wealth now it is very important for you to heal to take control of your own life because your life is not under your control that's a different here i am not seeing someone is controlling here your opportunities are controlling your opportunities are controlling because even though you are like i want to sleep today your opportunity like today you have task with me you are running that is how your life became so your life is not under your control whatever opportunities you grabbed that opportunities are controlling you need this healing is needed the moment you heal the moment you drop the burdens the moment you heal from this heartbreak again you are going to shine like a star your life will be under your control because whoever choose pile number 1 your life is not under your control you became 16 no matter whether you know it or not you may be realizing it or not because based on the 10 vans you may be not even looking at yourself in the mirror how i am looking today i don't think you have the time for yourself to look into mirror and see where it is wrong whether you how you are looking what you what changes you need to make no you can be your own knight see i don't know what burdens the those are somewhere you are feeling that you need someone to protect you or you need that young youthful energy in your life because you are feeling like you became now father figure or 60 years old so now you cannot handle no that is your own mindset is stopping you because of that past experience not a trauma it is it is experience you need to heal from it so once you heal then you are going to understand actually you are young you are young you are not an aged person the only thing is because of that over burden you became aged it it, it happens because as per my experience when i became 35 years i thought one uh, my life is already over what should i do means over means about this marriage love and all why, why you i should think about love and all you know i am 35 plus 38 i think in the 38 years i thought in, i felt in that way what is there now i cannot think about all those things but it is not true it is just our mindset i invoke aid to carry angels singing around the world and bring hope and peace here you just need to take a break okay i let me find out what is this 10 of wands which made you to feel like you are 60 years old even though your energy are maybe real age also 20 what is this page of wands maybe someone in your life who is like a page of wands because of that person you became you may be taking uh ah, you need to end that you may be dealing with someone who is like a page of wands child energy and you are completely taking their burdens on your shoulder it is nothing to do with you even though you really have one child also it won't become this much burden you need to end everything with this child it is not a child someone in your life who is like a page of wands they are very mature person and they kept all the burdens on your shoulders even you also may be like one way this is a child so i need to take care of them no you no need to they will take care of themselves you no need to take other people's burdens on your shoulders understand that because you can be your own knight somewhere because of this energy you are feeling that no anita now i am not in a position to protect myself i need someone as to protect me actually here no one is protecting you that's for sure because whomever you are dealing with that is a child and do you think that one child is going to protect you then you are completely in some kind of illusion or trap mental trap 
where you are feeling that because of this child you are safe no actually once you drop this burden because of this child you are not uh, protected because of this child you are burdened once you drop this burdens once you end everything with this person whomever they are you will become knight of wands or this two of wands again which is like a youthful energy 20s energy you can be your own knight when you come into the 20s energy you don't look for one support you don't look for someone to protect you someone to be there with you to take care of you right so first thing you what you need to do after watching this reading as i said sit and analyze and you think that yes i'm carrying lot of burdens immediately drop the burdens because it is not yours and you need to end it it is i'm seeing here like you are carrying one dead lift it is a death maybe it is already ended but you are still carrying it by thinking that it is still alive so what will happen when you carry one dead body on your shoulder every day every day the weight of that dead body will increase i don't know i never carried any dead body i <laughs> i read somewhere okay that's why we call it like a dead lift like at least it is like a, it will become more weight it seems that's how because whatever you are carrying it is dead after watching this reading throw the dead thing become free heal the moment you throw that your life will be under your control because whatever you are carrying it is already gone i think her reading really became very lengthy because in the initially i really stated to generate some messages thank you for watching so pile number 2 which is blue pile how you are past affecting you are present okay so meanwhile go and subscribe if at all you are not subscribe if at all you already subscribe thank you for the subscription click the join button and have a look at our youtube store and watch the ads so how my pile number 2 is past affecting the affecting their future sorry present future also the magician how pile number 2 past affecting their present and future let me take because i'm getting again and again that future what of course whatever you do it in the present that's what you are going to receive in the future whatever today you do based on that karma based on that work your future will be there whatever today you are building based on that your future will be there maybe that is also one reason so how your past is affecting your present and future let me take it in that way how pile number 2 past affecting their present and future magician in the reverse sorry magician in the upright the tower king of cups in the reverse this is your past you manifested something and that manifestation is king of cups in the reverse you manifested someone in your life who is emotional manipulator so it is not that simply they came into your life it is your own manifestation now you know whom you manifested in the past tower what is the tower because of your generous kind nature or what is this six of pentacle are you thought that they are generous kind actually you want equal give and take in your life maybe wherever you are you never felt equal give and take so you manifested someone in your life are you manifested equal give and take with that person so whatever affecting your present and future is king of cups in that reverse whomever you are manifested listen to me carefully you manifested someone in your life to how equal give and take you know now okay actually you got that person but you don't know that that person is emotional manipulator king of cups in the reverse they do lot of emotional manipulation how your past affects affecting your present and future now it is future let me come to the future that is your past you you manifested someone in your life who is emotional manipulator what is your present <laughs> Okay. 
see in the past you want you wanted you wanted some pentacle new beginning which is like one stable grounded pentacle new beginning in your life uh, which is like a materialistic way you may be wanted or at least money wise you may be going through some issues so you thought that if at all i have that person listen to me carefully if at all i have that person we both are going to share do equal give and take i'm going to help them they are going to help me okay you thought in that way because you re you wanted that equal give and take but i always say okay no matter what you are manifesting because pile number two you are the magician listen to me carefully when you are manifesting something you should never visualize someone's face you just need to tell to the universe that if at all you really wanted equal give and take you should tell to the universe i want equal give and take people in my life who won't take advantage of me who maintain equal give and take with me no matter what you are dealing with them whether it is a financial thing whether it is a relationship whether it is a friendship whether it is a business dealings you should ask in that way you should manifest in that way that i want equal give and take people in my life who can maintain equal give and take with me but here what you did the mistake is you manifested someone by thinking that if at all i get that person i am going to get equal give and take with them maybe you misunderstood them by seeing why you misunderstood them i will tell you they may be you may be and thought that this person is a king of cups which is like very father figure loving caring father figure you are like a magician you may be very young age so you may be thought that this is a father figure king of cups so if at all i have that person uh, we both are going to maintain equal give and take the way it is like they are going to be like a father figure for me and uh, they will are going to take care of me i am going to take care of her at least both are going to help each other one way or other way okay so you thought in that way but actually the thing is they are king of cups in the reverse you may be the page small kid that's where you may be expected one person who is like a father figure nothing wrong in that so that you thought that you both can build something together because pentacles is there no cups is there that's the reason why when you are manifesting that person also you never thought about the cups emotions you just saw that that is a father figure if at all i get them we both work together i am like a child we both get some new beginning so we both can maintain equal give and take that's what you thought that is the reason you manifested them so here you manifested specific person seven of pentacle you are trying hard to get that equal give and take with that person you are putting lot of efforts to get that equal give and take with that person but you are not seeing the result because they are an emotional manipulator they are not a father figure but you thought that i am like a child anita if at all i have this person is like a father figure if at all i get that person they will take care of me like a father figure i will work like a child we both will work together in equal give and take they will give that father love i will give them that child how child will work uh, with active activeness and all so we both will match that's how we both will help each other that's what you thought but you are fail to see that they are not father figure they are emotional em emotional manipulator if at all they want something from you they will do emotional manipulation and they never going to maintain equal give and take with you because they are the emotional manipulator if they want something they know that you are a very weak personality or you are a child they can easily manip manipulate you they know how to manipulate you now you are trying very hard to work with them get that equal give and take but you are not seeing the result so that is how your past manifestation is affecting the future present and future the reason why i said affecting is you are completely putting your efforts on that person to get equal give and take with them but what you are forgetting is you need to work on yourself not with on that person so it is like you want to change one emotional manipulator so that that emotional manipulator can maintain equal give and take with you but what you are un not understanding is you cannot change someone what you can do is you can change yourself work on yourself so that you can understand where you are investing and what you are expecting and from whom you are expecting it is very important take a break whatever efforts you are putting 
take a break you just need to relax stop investing here just stop investing here because this person is never going to change they never going to change it is their wish you cannot change someone that's why i always say we cannot change people until unless they themselves decide that yes i want to change as simple as i'm doing the readings maybe so many people are watching do you really think that everyone is changing no but i think i really believe that at least one person change themselves by watching my readings that is really great thing for me it is not that whoever coming towards me towards my channel everyone should change maybe take they will take time after all that hardships after all that experiences bad things and all then they will be that day anita said i went to the channel she said already this is what happening i did not give importance to she she asked me to change my energy she asked me to change my nature i did not that is the reason why it, it happened so let's go back then they will be ready for the change so here you cannot change someone let them take their own time let them go through whatever they need to go through to learn the lessons in a hard way okay so here what you need to do is change yourself that expecting change from others that is what your problem what you need to change you know expecting change from others actually you are the magician right why you are expecting from others you should not be in a position to expect something from others because you are the magician whatever you want you can create the only thing what you don't know is how to create okay if at all you are a magician you should never ask i want that person no you want that person because you can only see with your eyes but what is the guarantee that person is good for you maybe that is a threat for you but you have the magician skills so you will get them that is the reason what you should do is whatever you want you want equal give and take i just want people who can maintain equal give and take please send universe only those people into my life that should be your manifestation just after watching this reading at least work on yourself take a break from this connection or from that person here i am not seeing any connection it is just simply you thought one person is a father figure so you, you are like a child so you thought that if at all that father figure is with me maybe you may be don't have that support in your life that's where you may be thought that if at all i have that father figure we both are going to do we both are going to work together and we both are going to maintain that equal give and take but it failed okay you did not see the result and moreover they came out like emotional manipulator you need to work on yourself so that they cannot manipulate you again and one more thing you should not give up on king of wands so if at all you have someone in your life who is like a king of wands you may be not giving up or someone who let me pull what what is this seven of wands seven of hmm, maybe it is your energy because everywhere your energy is very matured energy i got you have someone in your life who is like an nine of pentacle who is like a very single abundant and uh, you want that person as your husband figure or father figure the reason i will tell you you may be the one pile number 2 whoever choose you may be looking for someone strong in your life that i understood maybe you don't have that father support or at least father figure kind of person in your life that's where you may be looking for uh, someone who can be like a protector for you uh, where you can feel that i have father figure so if at all anything happen my father is there to handle maybe you are at least you are in you are looking for such kind of person you went for someone you found out that that person is not a father figure moreover they are like a child but they project themselves like i am the very matured person i am the very matured masculine i am like a father figure maybe they have one quality which is like uh, instead of fighting they may be sit and talk they may be not entertain themselves in the fightings so you may be misunderstood that this person is very matured maybe when they look also look wise also they may be very matured person which is like a father age kind of person so somewhere you thought that okay this person is father age kind of person and whenever uh, i even i am i deal like i behave like a matured also this person will sit and talk to me they won't fight with me that's where you may be misunderstood that they are like a father figure no actually they are emotional manipulator 
they don't know how to fight they don't know how to speak out they don't know how to ask they don't know how to fight for their rights that is the reason why they simply do only one thing emotional manipulation because they know that especially when it comes to you they maybe already have all your buttons especially emotionally how they can trigger you how they can make you to do something for them the reason why i said is you are the magician so if at all that person wants something they will do emotional manipulation and you are going to manifest them manifest for them i hope you are understand so your manifestation skills are used by the wrong person for that emotional manipulation as simple as i will tell you one person is there he just carry abandonment issue that's it nothing more than that but their spouse is very materialistic and i don't know what is the problem with that person with me she asked to do something bad to me that person is very innocent or not exactly innocent like they don't carry any kind of anger towards me they don't carry like they need they need to do something wrong towards me but just to because their spouse asked him to do that he did it the reason why he did it because he have abandonment issues so if at all he is not doing that she is going to leave him that fear make him to do something wrong to the right person or the innocent or someone good in their life that's how people misuse you when you carry this kind of traumas you need to fix those things okay this person can easily do that emotional manipulation and use your manifestation skills for wrong things you are the right person here i am not seeing that you are the wrong person you may be the right person that is the reason why you hold this magician skill in yourself this is a blessing gift from the universe but whomever you are dealing by thinking that this is a father figure that person is wrong person so whatever that person is telling you you are doing and they are not ordering they are doing emotional manipulation that is the reason you are doing it and you are trying to change them because you know that with that person you are not getting equal give and take you are trying hard to change them you are trying hard to get equal give and take from them but you are not getting that is how even though you are a manifester you are not getting anything in your life you are still in the seven of pentacle because whenever you want to manifest something this person will do emotional manipulation and they try to turn it into their favor there may be a very good opportunity but this person may be know that if at all this is a magician if at all they manifest that they are going to grab that opportunity and they are when they get that opportunity they are going to leave me what they will do they will tell that no 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 it is not a good opportunity because you give that person as a father figure importance or at least you listen to them that's for sure if at all you are not listening they will do emotional manipulation so that you can listen to them you can do whatever they want to do so you are going to miss that opportunity that is how even though you are a magician pile number 2 even though you are a magician creator still you are in seven of pentacle yes anita i already lot of times i heard that you are telling i am the magician i am the magician then why i am not manifesting anything anita you are dealing with the wrong person and they know how to destroy your manifestations you are dealing with such a person and you are trying to change them instead of changing yourself after watching this reading what you need to do is literally break the cycle with them end the cycle with this person no matter who they are you never going to receive equal give and take with this person end the cycle with them you are the magician after watching this reading the immediate thing what you need to do is first stop putting the efforts start investing on yourself take a break when you are taking break ask to the universe you don't need to do lot of things ask the universe remove this person this emotional manipulator from my life that's it you don't need to do lot of work that's the beauty of magicians you know we no need to do lot of work we just need to tell to the universe then why this person is not going out of your life is you are the one magician you manifested it now you should ask to the universe that please i asked them 
that is the reason you sent that person in my life now i am the one who is telling remove that person from my life i don't want to have any kind of connections from with them in my entire life just remove them that's it you no need to do a lot of work universe will remove this person take a break first and do that because you are working hard take a break stop changing them ask to the universe whatever i said and you have someone in your life who is very single abundant very independent and they are like a leader figure or strong husband figure very courageous confident person don't give up on them okay so you were past whatever manifestation you did in the past you got that person based on that manifestation but that same person is affecting your present and future let me pull some suggestion cards anyway it comes with time and practice you have confidence issues that is the reason why see here i am not saying you have confidence issues more than that you are dealing with someone this person may be already took all your power where they made you to feel like you don't have confidence you cannot achieve anything you cannot do anything you cannot go anywhere you are fit for nothing they may be already told you they may be made you to realize made you to feel in that way that you are fit for nothing actually you are the magician they may be know that but they never let you to let you to believe that you are the magician that is the reason they are keeping you in this seven of pentacle energy so that even though you have magician skills you may be used to be, no even anida is telling but if at all i am the magician why i am not manifesting this why i am not manifesting that you are manifesting whatever you want you are manifesting but that person is destroying because you are still carrying that person in your life why you are still carrying because you still did not became you see first of all remove that person because i don't like that energy literally i don't like that energy that person is completely ruining your life it is a sweet poison this person is a sweet poison you are dealing with one sweet poison whenever you are tasting it is very sweet like anita it is like a honey and how can you say that it is a poison yes it may be tasting like honey but it is a poison internally it is killing you slowly understand because when we say poison when you taste it you will understand that oh that smell is bad it is taste is very worst you don't want to taste it but whomever you are dealing with that is a sweet poison understand that and to build your confidence as i said first take a break don't even invest a single minute for this person to build something with that person don't do anything take a break when you are taking break ask to the universe first thing as i said remove this person from your life even though it is your manifestation remove the moment you say to remove they will remove it second i want to become confident give me that confident courage that's what you need to do that affirmations okay you are going to get that because you are already had someone in your life who is like a king of wands you are not giving up don't give up the moment you get the courage confident are you are going to get this person the moment you remove this person because this is a huge block in your life even though you are a magician still this person is completely blocking your entire life you are unable to see that because somewhere you are feeling that no anita this person is father figure and maybe you came to know about it it is not that you are still thinking like a father figure you came to know about it that person is emotional manipulator but now you don't know how to come out of it because whenever you try to do something they will again coming and they are doing that emotional manipulation i invoke a to carry let me pull one more card because i think recently also i got this card so first change not change remove that person i connect with commander aster to serve the universe listen to your intuition because you are not at all listening to your intuition because of this person they are doing lot of emotional manipulation and you are you may be working very hard to please this person you may be working very hard to uh, get uh, appreciation for this from this person whatever you may be just want to 
uh, do more so that this person can feel good about you they never going to feel so first thing is if at all you stay more time for this with this person you are going to lose entire all your confidence so don't do that don't do that mistake first remove this person with your manifestation skills okay thank you for watching so pile number 3 who choose yellow pile so yellow pile how you are past affecting you at present and future okay so meanwhile go and subscribe if you are not subscribe if you are already subscribed thank you for the subscription click the join button and have a look at our youtube store and watch the ads okay so how you are past affecting you are present and future seven of cups how you are past affecting how by number 3 is past affecting their present see first your past you live in the illusions are you are completely illusional you live in the illusions are you carry lot of opportunities way you really don't know which is the right one are you always distracted by attractive things that can be the case you know better than me what nature you have in all those things you may be have lot of opportunities that for sure in the past okay let me clear in the past and you may be fall for someone are you opened your heart chakra for someone and you understood that person is your wish fulfillment at least you got attracted because that is the reason i said in the initially you may be get attracted towards the things which are very attractive glittery things ha ah, exactly not like a glitter it is like someone if at all i take as a when it comes to human beings you may be fall for the people who are very good looking very handsome who dress like a model you may be fall for that kind of people so you at least you feel some kind of feelings towards that person and uh, you feel that that person is king of wands or you want that person as a king of wands in your life like you want to get married with them because they are very attractive uh, and you feel that that's what i'm telling here i'm not saying you have love for them listen to me carefully don't get triggered okay here i'm not saying you have love for them as simple as how we fall for models how we fall for that crickets players someone who is they are maintain they maintain very well that is the reason why they are very attractive they carry different aura that's where we fall for them and somewhere you decided that or at least you thought that that is my true love or i have feelings for them yeah you opened your heart chakra i'm not telling that you did not but you don't know that whether really you carry love for them this this is different loves because it is still page it is not like knight of cups king of cups queen of cups it is page means you have feelings but you don't even know what is what kind of feelings those feelings are whether you are just liking them loving them like a star and uh, they are very attractive that's where you are like you maybe had some kind of dream that yes i want to get married with this kind of person how your past affecting your present and future so here i'm not saying much except that illu- illusions okay you are past affecting your present or future here i'm not saying that you are carrying any kind of traumas you need to work on it you need to come out of trauma no you are just living in the illusions or you are completely illusional person don't get triggered are you just attracted towards the as i said attractive things even see it is a human nature it is nothing wrong if at all i say that you are like illusions are you attracted to the attractive things nothing wrong with you because our eyes that is human psychology our eyes go towards those things which are very attractive uh, we our eyes capture those things very attractive things maybe everyone will be like but what we do we see we live it 
right even we, i will also see mostly that insta we will get lot of models lot of good things i like it the places things different different uh, attractive things we see some at least some people just to prepare prepare the food the way they decorate is different that may be a small normal dessert but the way they decorate it the presentation part is completely mind blowing we will get attracted towards it in the same way someone may be not a very great personality but they may be very attractive they may be very good looking we will get attracted till that time it is okay getting attracted is nothing wrong because it is a human being but you are is we live in the illusions that you want to get married with them you want to have them you want to it is like one way attraction is there lot of no love only attraction actually you have victory with queen of pentacle not with this person i know so you are the one who is stopping your victory because you are looking for someone but actually you have someone the moment you decide to take plunge towards that queen of pentacle you will get the victory so now how your past at, uh, uh, affecting your present or future is i am not seeing huge level of loss here the simple is actually victory is in front of you the only thing is you are not making decision to go towards that the reason you got attracted to something and you just want that thing or at least you are living in that you are not even taking any action do you think that there is a action card here no action card there is no action you simply imagining maybe you are living in the la la land or at least what we say dream land <laughs> okay so you are missing the victory if at all you the moment you made the decision make the decision like no oh, i want to take plunge towards someone in your life who is like a queen of pentacle now you are looking for king of wands uh, that is the difference you know you are the one watching so whom you are look whom you are looking at like king of wands that person is not your person you are not going to get the victory with them maybe you are going to get the victory with queen of pentacle you need to make the decision to take the plunge towards that person you are not taking risk okay. if at all you are the king of wands you are living in the illusions king of wands never live in the illusions that's for sure because they are action person as simple as i'll tell you when we see in the movies heroes we will feel that yes that hero fighting doing fighting they are beating someone we will feel that they are very courageous uh, they are great but do you really think that in the present in the real life they will be heroes they may be scared of small cockroach <laughs> they may be just scared of small cockroach but in the movies they won't show like that you need to come out of it here i am not seeing much problem to you, with you you just stuck mm. it is like a distracted by something where you are not making your decision toward the victory this is your original victory this taking plunge towards the queen of pentacle is your victory but you are distracted by someone let me pull some more cards what decision you need to make judgment Okay. What is this seven of cups? Somewhere you are completely feeling that this person is wish fulfillment. Hmm. What is the plunge? The fool. What is this queen of pentacles? what is this king of wands so 
see you are trying for the wrong person because you think that that person loves me and or at least you yourself like i'm loving them unconditionally anita i don't even know that person still like give them love it is one way maybe crush kind of energy or somewhere as i said no it is like an attraction crush mingled with crush so you have feelings for them so and uh, you decided that that person is my wish fulfillment i want them i don't want to give up on them but you need to make the decision because you are maybe losing the sleep or someone is losing the sleep over you what is this nine of swords <laughs> you are going towards the wrong person you have ten of pentacle with someone who is like a queen of pentacle if at all you go towards this queen of pentacle you are going to build ten of pentacle with this person as of now this queen of pentacle is not in the position of queen of pentacle they may be your friend or they may be working with you they are like page of pentacle like small energy that's where you are misunderstanding the connection or you are losing your sleep because of that you are unable to make the decision and whatever opportunity around you where you are going to get the victory with the ten of pentacle ten of cups that you are looking like a page of pentacle that is a small opportunity anita uh, i cannot go towards that but actually there the moment you take the plunge plunge is nothing but uh, without thinking expecting no matter whether it is a huge thing whether it is a small thing just take the plunge as of now maybe universe is testing you that whether you are going to come out of this illusion or not because wherever you are you are illusioned by someone by thinking that that is king of wands and i want them so someone you are looking at them like a huge thing actually they are seven of wands they are not a king that is what i'm telling they are not a king they are seven of wands but you you are self thinking like they are like a king anita they are like a leader figure no no you are mistaken that's why i said it is like an illusioned by someone's appearance but as simple as i said in the movies they will show that in the reality they are scared of one cockroach so in the movies you saw that that person is like ah, so this person is like him. and someone is there around you that person is page pentacle now you are thinking that this is a page anita how can i go towards them but actually they are not a page they are queen of pentacle and moreover with them you are going to get 10 of cups 10 of pentacle so it is like a personality misunderstand not misunderstanding here universe is giving some test to you that um, let's see what this person is going to choose let's see what you are going to choose like we how we as a human beings we always as simple as two things are there one stone is glitter things as i said shining like very bright a lot of light coming other stone same stone it is looking like same but that is not that shining that is not that glittery so as a human beings what we will think when we ask which is the original one we will go and think that whichever is shining bright that is the original one no do you know that original diamonds never shine lot it won't carry that brightness which see, what is that one stone is there cz cz that is more glittery than diamond it will look like a diamond but it is not a diamond it is a cz but diamond is it is not that glittery like a cz but the worthy thing it is a more worthy thing than the cz that's where it is like in universe is testing you because this period maybe you are in the middle of the gates of north node the reason why i said north node is the moment you are like yes anita this is not shining but still i want to go towards this thing which is not shining if you take that risk you will be 10 of cups 10 of pentacle as of now you are like no anita that sh- that stone is not shining anita Uh, that is not a diamond why should i go for that this is very shiny i want to be with that shiny stone which is very <laughs> i am getting some vision which is like it is like a test from the universe for you 
so here how your past is affecting your present is you may be have the habit of going towards the glittery things okay you are don't get triggered again i'm telling as simple as you may be the person from your young age you may be fall for the people who dress up make up keeping lot of lipsticks uh, doing that nail polish and all like complete how much time it will take you one hour go to the spa you will be like a different person but you have the habit of attracting towards that kind of people that is nothing but glittery things so someone in your life who is like a seven of wands but they are showing like i'm the king of wands you are thinking that yes that person is a king of wands so i want that person no they are not king of wands they are seven of wands stubborn kid and whoever the other side that person is maybe not looking like i'm the king of pentacle they are just a page of pentacle they are just like doing some small things they are like just small way they are not showing presenting here i am not saying that person doing wantedly maybe your universe is not revealing someone's original personality to you that universe is not showing that that person is king of pentacle because universe want to test you that what you are going to choose so if at all now also panel number 3 who are watching listen to me carefully what universe testing is whether this file number 3 really came out of that glittery things whether they changed their mind that they should not go for the glittery things or they are still in that mindset if at all you don't take plunge towards that person who is not looking like a queen of pentacle they are just like a page of pentacle then you will be in the illusions if at all you are like no at least after watching this reading here it is going to help you a lot way because you are missing something great on the other side it is on the other side it is a huge test from the universe for you because someone is here i'm not seeing that that person wantedly showing you that they are the king of wands no maybe someone have the habit of showing something which is they are not as i said uh, some people will see that their presentation will be very different like how they present but when they come to the action mode <laughs> they can handle that <laughs> i used to meet such kind of people when i am working slow down and celebrate yourself so you may be going through some kind of tough time now that tough time is nothing just universe is testing you what you are going to choose based on your selection i'm not even seeing choose it is like still if at all you are like glittery things no one can help you and universe cannot help you you are going to miss what beautiful opportunity to have this 10 of pentacle 10 of cups i invoke the mahatma energy to flow through me you need to listen to your intuition by why but why you are not listening is you may be in the fire of pentacle energy which is like going through some tough period in the sense of finances that's where you lost that ground financial stability is not there that's where you are thinking that one person is king of wands i want that person no no it is like i want that person that is wish fulfillment if at all i get that person i'm going to become wealthy no actually that person is seven of wands actually your abundance is other side you know i don't think you don't know the only thing is you need to make the decision to take that plunge towards that person but you are not taking the reason is as i said you are not listening to your intuition and moreover you have the habit that is your what is affecting your past from the past in the present this distraction you get easily distracted by glittery things that's for sure and someone showed you that they love you unconditionally because you think that that person loves you unconditionally no actually it is like stubborn nature that's it there is no love nothing i am not seeing anywhere you carried some love that too recently opened some heart chakra so you don't even know that what is love and other person whomever you think that it is a king of and they are not king of and they are seven of wands very stubborn kid maybe they are like no let me this person should be with me ha huh, that is also maybe reason they don't want you to go towards that other side because they know that maybe they know it or not you should not go other side because other side you are going to become something different you need to cross the bridge of this distractions 
you need to jump out of this distractions because whatever other side is there this distractions are not letting you to take the plunge towards this beautiful blessings so you need to take that plunge avoiding these distractions if you even though you don't know what is there on other side that's where you are like i don't know anita it is just like a page page because in the initially you were seeing like a page because of this distractions that is also you are seeing like it is a page anita how can i take page actually this is not a page it is a queen but because of this distractions you are seeing this queen as a page you have the victory here so at least to i think this reading is going to help you a lot after watching this reading relax and think what is the distraction and think what is that risk you need to take which you are not ready to take because you are not seeing that it is a worth of that risk because you are thinking that it is a page anita why should i take risk for the page that is what you are thinking this is not a page it is an abundance hidden behind this page because universe is testing you what you are going to do so it is in your hands okay thank you for watching so file number 4 which is purple how are you at past affecting your present <laughs> or future okay so mean when you go and subscribe if you are not subscribed if you are already subscribed thank you for the subscription click the join button and have a look at our youtube store watch the ads so how my pen number four's past affecting the future or present the moment i started the reading it is like actually the concept title is how your past affecting your present but it is like future future of course one way whatever we do in the present that is what we will get in the future so anyway how your past affecting you are present so you are past affecting you are present hang on three of swords king of wands this is the past past <laughs> let me pull who is this hanged man either it is you someone someone in your life whom you thought that they are very generous kind person or at least to you may be expected some equal give and take with them but actually what uh, they are is like hanged man maybe you know that and now you are watching the reading so you know that uh, you never passed to someone who is like a hanged man who is who don't know how to see the things in a different perception or at least who don't know how to see the things in a different perception or who don't know how to understand other people's perception something happened they will see only that situation that person in their perception they fail to see the other person's perception they fail to put themselves in that situation and see how it feels or how why they did something this person broke your heart because it is their it is not their problem it is like they themselves is like hanged man but i think somewhere you thought that this person is very generous kind like they maintain equal give and take or at least somewhere you thought this is a kind person generous person who understand other people's uh, problems who is who can be ready to help other people uh, maybe it is like um, actually they are not balanced person but you you thought they are balanced you may be king of wands how your past affecting your present i am not saying here this person affecting you the only thing is you need to listen to your intuition 
that is the justice or to get the justice okay because if at all you think that i will going to i am going to get the justice here no because you never going to get a justice with them if at all you are expecting they are going to no it is something which is like this is your past i am not saying something is stopping you how your past is affecting your present right i'm not seeing that uh, uh, anything is affecting more one, only one thing that hard work is there and uh, it will put three of swords i'm not even seeing stuckness that you are stuck somewhere no you just you need to listen to your intuition that's it i'm not even seeing your energy like a stuck be honest with yourself before being honest with others it is very important for you you should be honest with yourself because whatever happened in the situation you know clarity is there it is not that something you don't know you need to know something you are carrying wrong energy or you got hurted where you need to heal from something no nothing because you are like a king of wands so, so you have that courage confident where you won't get this three of wands energy sorry three of swords energy which is like even though someone try to break your heart it won't affect you what is this uh, why, why it is like why you are not listening to your intuition <laughs> now source what is it of course you are a strong feminine are what is justice for you you need to make some justice here but you are not doing it the reason why you are not doing it it is not about the drama and all it is simply because you are you do everything here i am not even saying you don't know something that is the reason why you are like no actually everything is clear the only thing is maybe here somewhere you are not accepting the truth or you are not being honest with yourself the reason why you are not being honest with yourself is the one whom ever you are dealt with that person is hunger man they fail to see the things in a different perception but you somewhere maybe they helped you six of pentacle or at least you carry this kind of mindset that they are very generous kind i don't want to hurt them but actually what is that stopping you i'm not seeing any kind of trauma here what it is stopping you what is affecting your present you need to listen to your intuition you need to become king of cups is that what is affecting you is this queen of swords see here there is a situation i'm not saying any relationship here okay there is a situation uh you may be dealt with someone in the past maybe they are very generous kind maybe they helped you some way one way or other way you got some help from that person that's for sure okay now what is how it is affecting you is actually no one is stopping you nothing is affecting you you are completely free but the only thing is you don't want to hurt someone in your life that someone is nothing but the one whom you are thinking that that person helped me so if at all now i listen to my intuition if at all i leave them it is like hurting them i don't want to hurt them it is like i don't want to break their heart that you have new beginnings you cannot stuck with someone who is stuck already it is like this person is stuck they cannot go anywhere they cannot move they cannot do anything because they are simply stuck wherever they are and you are stuck with this with them the reason you don't want to break their heart you don't want to speak the truth 
because you think that if at all i speak the truth i am going to hurt them and why you don't want to hurt them is some time in the past they helped you which is like six of pentacles so they may be give some help when you are in need so you are like anita some years ago this person helped me that time i am not i i need i need some help that time this person helped me and now i need to move forward in my life but uh, if at all i move forward in my life it is going to hurt them if at all i tell them i want to move forward in my life it is going to hurt them so i cannot do that but if at all you cannot do that what is going to happen don't want to speak the truth that you want to leave okay and you just want to be with them what is going to happen nothing you will be stuck with them but do you really think that you need to stuck with someone who is stuck in their life if at all someone is stuck in their life it is their karma you cannot do anything they are in some kind of position where it is like hanged man it is their karma they need to learn the lessons in a harder way where they can understand that okay actually we need to see the things in a different perception it is not that only 2 plus 2 is 4 it is 3 plus 1 also 4 you cannot tell them they need to understand by their lessons now you want to listen to your intuition because you want to make some justice that justice is nothing but just listening to your intuition and doing what is right because justice also doing what is right and king of wands sees like leader figure action oriented person confident courage who follow the intuition now you need to move forward by listening to your intuition that is the right thing but you are not doing it even though it is the right thing you know that yes anita i know that you also always tell that listening to our intuition is a very great thing we need to listen to our intuition and we need to move forward in our life but whomever i am with they helped me four five years back now if at all i move forward by listening to my intuition because when i listen to my intuition my intuition is telling leave this situation and move forward in your life because you have some new beginning somewhere with your divine counterpart divine feminine but i cannot do that because if at all i move forward towards my divine found feminine uh, one way or other way this person is going to get hurt so here nothing is stopping you except not doing the right thing by listening to your intuition or even though you listening to your intuition you are thinking that if i listen to in my intuition if i follow my intuition someone is going to get hurt it is not enough your business if at all you think that i want to satisfy everyone forget about it because no matter what you are doing if there are 100 people of team you carry you want to one you want to make one best decision for your 100 people the team of 100 people but there is one or two people definitely come out and tell that we don't like it because if at all you make this decision this change this is how we are going to get law loss so you think about that two people or you think about that 98 people who is going to benefited by that decision whatever decision you are going to make right so what you are going to do tell the truth if at all they are getting hurt it is none of your business second one you should be like a queen of swords which is like setting strong healthy boundaries to the people let them know that you accept only this much nothing wrong right if someone helped you someone is like very generous kind doesn't mean that you will become doormat to them right we cannot become someone doormat to someone because they helped some years ago moreover that help is equal given to if at all they helped you in some way you may be already returned it in some way so there is nothing that you kept with you if at all they gave something you already gave it back gave gave back to them so nothing is here that not like equal un, unequalness so it is like now it is you may be become king of wands you should be ready for the new beginnings 
or someone may be already ready for the new beginnings who is your divine feminine now you are the one who need to make the decision to go towards them that is a justice because you had all you are the divine masculine you are divine feminine you both need to get that new beginnings but you are like if at all i go someone is going to get hurt <laughs> what is this king of cups maybe it is king of cups you are divine masculine is king of cups what is this king of cups let me pull one more card because one strong feminine is there one strong masculine is there but masculine is stopping themselves because some other person is going to get hurt you are making things complicated nothing is complicated here just listening to your intuition and following is enough but you yourself making things complicated by not i am not telling again it is a difficult situation i am even it is like see here i cannot tell you that you are not listening to your intuition no you are listening the only thing is you are not taking action the reason why you are not taking action is i am no i know anita i am listening to my intuition my intuition is telling that this is your divine counterpart this is your divine feminine you need to go towards them you need to get some new beginning you both are destined to be together you both are going to get 10 of pentacle i know everything but if at all i go there is someone they are going to be end up in poverty or they are going to be end up in abandonment issues so i cannot go i cannot hurt them that is the reason you are not taking the action what you should do what is affecting fast fast someone who helped you that thing you still kept that is the reason you are that's past favor i can say you got favor from someone in the past long back but you already paid for it because it is equal give and take it is not that they gave you in the return you did not give anything you equaled it it is equally happened if at all they gave some opportunity as simple as i will tell you one thing it is like a six of pentacle if they gave you some financial opportunity which is like a project kind of thing that time maybe you are completely jobless uh, so you are looking for the job so someone maybe this hanged man maybe gave you that job opportunity okay so you work it for them that you made that project successful now listen to me carefully now maybe it is one year two years something you are working with them both they are gave some pro- opportunity when you are completely unemployed you may be struggling for some kind of help for the job okay they helped you now you maybe it is like a 4 5 years after 5 years you got some beautiful opportunity because you are no more in that position where you are struggling for the job you became leader king of wands experience so you got 5 years experience so you may be in the starting you may be started like a three of pentacle like a s- scratch level project you worked with them you both may be build and uh, it may be like a 5 6 years now you became like a king of wands where you know how to handle the team how to guide lead the team how to make unique decisions how to take risks how to uh, like creating something executing something unique ideas you got that experience when you work for some organization for 5 to 6 years definitely we will got that experience like how to handle the situation what kind of people we face and whenever the people whoever we are going to meet how to read their psychology based on that psychology how to deal with them right you learned everything that's where you became king of wands right now you got one beautiful opportunity which is like where someone in your life who is like exactly like you but the only thing is they are feminine you are masculine right you know that that person is very strong 
you have the opportunity to build ten of pentacle with them because you are the leader you know you learn lot from your experiences they are also strong feminine energy they know how to handle the situation or no matter what situation it is how to take control over that situation how to turn that situation into our favor you are perfect partners you got this opportunity but if at all you go for this opportunity you know that there will be lot of doors will be open for you and you can easily build this 10 of pentacle you can easily become this fortunate person or your life will be completely under your control because you are the leader uh, not leader it is like you are the one who is going to create some kind of legacy so complete control will be in your hands but you are not doing that the reason <sighs> everything is fine anita that i know that if at all i go towards that person you both are very great pair we are going to build something huge but as i said 5 years back when i'm not having the job someone helped me if at all now i leave that person they are going to be end up in this five of pentacle so how your past is affecting let me pull one card because here i am seeing something different what is this five of pentacle the reason why i am seeing is this is an hanged man okay what is this five of pentacle whether they are really in the five of pentacle they will end up no they already have someone who is like a six of cups then why they are they are behaving like when you go they feel like five of pentacle ace of pentacles see they already have someone who is like a six of cups who is like their soul family our soul mate our childhood friend what is this ace of pentacle <laughs> what is this seven of swords wow wow see someone is completely manipulating you that's why i said this person cannot see the things in a different perception the thing why this person not letting you go is they may be guilt tripping you like that day you don't had anyone i helped you to build something now you became king of wands and now you want to leave me like if at all as i said that organization example maybe you are going you are reading maybe going to become very big because it is completely a different situation let me help explain clear okay so someone is manipulating you by telling that when some years back you don't have job no one is there to help you i helped you i gave you opportunity today you became king of wands and now when you became like a leader now you want to leave and you want to build something for yourself something by your own actually they are manipulating and they are not telling the way i said they may be just showing you that if at all you leave me i will end up in this five of pentacle that is manipulation and they may be asking that you cannot leave me because if at all you leave me i will be abandoned or i will be in the poverty so i want your help no they are actually simply planning this is a manipulation whomever you are dealing with they are dark high priestess they just to want your money nothing more than that they know that you are like a king of wands you are going to build something huge which is like a 10 of pentacle but maybe they don't know that until unless you won't come into the union with divine feminine you are not going to get this 10 of pentacle if at all you try to cheat divine feminine after building 10 of pentacle you are going to lose complete money that person maybe don't know that that is the reason what they are planning is i am not seeing that they are doing something they are just simply not letting you to move not letting you to do what is right for you for the situation 
for the universe because you both are divine counterparts this is a justice you both should come into the union that is a justice but they are not they are not stopping you they are not doing anything they are simply telling if at all you leave me i will be in this position so you are like okay once they helped me anita i have some i owe something for them now i cannot leave them because i got some opportunity i cannot leave them but what you need to understand is they already got someone in their life who is like a six of cups they are having that connection with them with whom they are feeling like they are like their childhood soulmate kind of thing the only thing is maybe there they are not getting some financial benefit with you they are getting benef financial be benefit this person just to want you for the sake of money so whoever you are thinking pile number 4 whomever you are thinking i cannot leave this person because i owe something for this person to this person so i cannot leave that person is a dark high priestess so please don't put yourself in some kind of like you are digging your own grave if at all you stay with them that's it maybe you are king of cups also for that person you are, you may be giving money you may be, that's what i telling you building everything for them they are not doing anything they are not taking any action they are not doing anything they may be just help for you when you need them you need some help that is the reason now they want to eat your labor of your fruits because see i helped you long back so now till my last breath you should be with me you should take care of me even though you get great opportunity you should leave you should not leave that is what their plan it is like if at all you give birth to one child now it is like that parent is asking that child that i give birth to you you are my child so till the time i won't die you should be with me you should not think about yourself is this really the right thing to do not you need to listen to your intuition and do what is just is you already know it is not that you don't know if at all you even though you listen to your intuition even though you know every an entire story still you are not making any move that means you are simply doing injustice to yourself and in this injustice to uni universe and here the divine feminine whomever is there it is nothing will happen to them they will end up with someone because universe will see for some time if at all you are not taking any action universe will send some other divine masculine into their life and this 10 of pentacles will be transferred to divine feminine this is my own experience i am telling i had an off contact with someone they completely involved in legal shit illegal shit so that complete 10 of pentacles came into my side because i am in the right path that person took devil's path they helped the devils they are still helping the demon devils so here also if at all you are not making the decision nothing divine feminine will be see sometime universe will tell them little bit more time still you are not making anything any decision the divine feminine will be become some ones like they will get some divine masculine different divine masculine and whatever the 10 of pentacle it will be goes to them now maybe this dark high priestess don't know that they may be thinking that you are going to build this 10 of pentacle with the divine feminine and i will keep this person stuck with me by manipulating that i am an abandoned guilt tripping so that i can by manipulation i can steal all this 10 of pentacle but this divine this dark eye priestess don't know that the moment you won't take a plunge towards the divine feminine you are going to lose the ten of pentacles if you doubt you can try because someone lost their ten of pentacles with me just because of not being on the divine path so here i am not telling that you are on the demonic path the only thing is you are not making any kind of action so how long universe will tell the divine feminine to sit wait sit wait no because you put people maybe have some different purpose life purpose you cannot wait for your entire lifetime to uh, get in get on that purpose right so it will be like a timeline will be there if you won't take that action within that timeline you are going to lose everything you can you can happily stay with this person 
okay you want to be like a king of ants you will be like a king of ants in the reverse you will you can stay with this dark high priestess no one will stop you because you and universe you are not taking action towards the divine feminine so i'm going to punish you no they are not going to punish actually you got these things because you have some purpose okay some different life purpose if you are not ready for that life purpose that is nothing but you are not taking action towards the divine feminine so now you are not on the life purpose that is the reason you are not eligible for this wealth okay so remember to practice self love whoever watching because you are dealing with the one manipulator and you are thinking that that manipulator is your responsibility i am visiting metatron rated in my sleep just listen to your intuition you are already doing the only thing is you are not taking action just to connect with your intuition and uh, after watching this reading it became really 30 minutes take action don't stuck with this person okay thank you for watching so pile number 5 who choose black pile so black pile how your past is affecting your your present okay i got some different message let me pull the cards maybe i'm going to get it again then i'm going to tell so anyway meanwhile go and subscribe if at all you not subscribe if at all you already subscribe thank you for the subscription click the join button and have a look at our youtube store Wow, how you were past affecting you were present now you were past affecting you were present hmm. how you were past affecting you were present what is this tower how your past affects affecting your present see you manifested someone in your life it is purely your manifestation in the past you manifested someone that someone is divine feminine healer a very 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 highly intuitive person you want to victory with them so you manifested someone maybe you already know that person you manifested them i want this healer i want victory with that person some kind of thing i want this healer in my life so you manifested that but <laughs> you don't know that maybe this is your this is the divine feminine okay maybe you don't know this is divine feminine okay because you are not in the divine masculine energy that's why i'm telling so how this is your past you manifested someone who is like a healer you want some victory with them but it came up like they are the divine feminine now how it is affecting your present how it is affecting your present four of pentacles how it is affecting your present queen of swords what is four of pentacles what is the fool see here how you are past affecting you were present is i'm not seeing any effect the only thing is you manifested something you are not ready for it because you may be saw someone they are very highly intuitive person so you may be like i just i want that healer in my life maybe you don't know that you may be have some manifestation skills uh, that's where you may be told to the universe or even just simply manifested okay maybe if at all you know that how to manifest the things maybe you manifested that i want this healer in my life mm, you got it but uh, after getting them you realized that 
that healer not just a healer they are like a divine feminine means see the difference is this person is a healer when you meet this person when you see this person you will feel that you are very calm because it is like a angel angel person so they are not like dangerous it is not exactly dangerous it is like one small pigeon like pigeon so we will it is like soft so we what we feel that we you don't do anything right it is a safe thing safe safe thing that's what you thought about this person that's why you want to have this person you manifested but after manifesting them you came to know about that this is a strong must feminine energy so it is not very easy to get them so by far from the far as i said uh some angelic aura soft a loving energy healing kind of energy that's where you are like i want to have that person but when you got them it's like a tower moment for you that they are very strong feminine so you why i'm telling is you got you now as of now you are getting intimidated by them the reason why you are getting intimidated is you yourself is four of pentacle or you carry some kind of mm, blockages heart related blockages or fears where you don't want to get hurt kind of thing so wherever i am i'm safe if at all i go towards that i'm going to get hurt so that is your fear you need to take the plunge you are this but you manifested something big which demands you to be this take a risk universe is like yes you want that a person healer they are here come and take now you are like no 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 i cannot come because i am like a four of pentacle yes i want healer they yeah here it is in front of your eyes come and take you are like no 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 maybe they are going to hurt me now you are simply sitting and crying it is just because of your own fear of or maybe in the past someone already hurted you some hard breaks are there from the past connections that's where you don't want to take the risk actually you need to heal from that hard breaks the reason why you are feeling is that's what i said maybe even you met this person or you saw this person you just saw that they are like a healer angelic person but when you got them you understood they are not just a healer they are strong feminine energy they are queen of swords they are queen of cups do you know why this healer you came across to this healer they are like this that is the reason they still alive on the planet or is do you really think that if at all this healer is not queen of pentacle queen of cups strong feminine still the world will keep them safe definitely not they may be already destroyed this healer this earth angel that is the reason universe prepare them universe make them strong the only thing is they should not carry the strength this this pin of source energy all the time because their work is healer they should be like a healer as simple as you go to that uh, hospital when you meet the doctor they wear that doctor dress right they wear that white coat and a stethoscope so you see that oh this person is a doctor right because you saw them the reason why you saw them is actually you have heart breaks that is the reason you got attracted towards that person because that person can heal you from this you have problem with releasing your past that's why you are attracted towards them and when you saw them you saw them like an angel but maybe you did something or someone did something where they became like a queen of swords as simple as i just said doctor they are saving everyone they will save the lives of people but somewhere you saw the doctor on the main road someone came and uh, did some accident to them they try to beat them they try to do some harm to them what they will do that doctor they will beat them or they will behave like they will be they will take stand for themselves they defeat themselves right they cannot be like see sir i am the doctor i am wear a white coat i am wear stethoscope so you should not beat me they cannot tell all those things they need to take stand for themselves they need to defend themselves when someone try to 
disturb this energy they carry this sword they will bring this sword so that they can protect this energy it is very important for them to love themselves until and unless they won't love themselves they cannot bring this balance healing to the people no matter what happens internally they will be very 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 strong because they are always connected to the universe their connection is not with the humans their connection will be with the universe that's where the universe is always guide them what they are doing where they are going with whom they are meeting how to behave with them how to take care of them if at all the universe tell that you need to take your sword now they will become queen of swords they tell that <coughs> you need to take a break now you need to love yourself they will become queen of cups if something difficult situations arise because of other people universe will tell that have faith be strong wherever you are don't lose your faith don't lose your courage everything will turn into your favor that's where they will become this strength card they will bring that strength so <laughs> you don't know all those things that's where you are the tower moment now you are like what can i do that's so you manifested something which you are not ready for it actually it is not ready for it you need this person not to want you may be know it or not you need them because of your negative mindset or heart breaks you need healing and this person can heal you that is the reason why you got attracted you manifested them <coughs> so how it is affecting you are present i am not seeing any affecting it is like simply you are the one who is like nine of pentacle see how difference it is this person is nine of pentacle you are like a codependent so somewhere you may be carrying that fear that okay if at all i do something this person is going to leave me again i will be like a codependent like you carry some issues like losing the people heart breaks lot of issues are there you need to heal from those things and this person is a healer <laughs> you know pile number 5 what i am seeing here you are scared of your own healer like you are scared of doctor you want some help treatment you went to the hospital you thought that the doctor is going to cure you now you met the doctor the doctor may be whatever they need to do they may be doing now you are like no i don't want to go towards the doctor because whatever the treatment i'm not unable to i'm not seeing that also you are just scared that's it it is like uh, <laughs> what is this weird energy i'm unable to explain it see don't get triggered you may be had till now in your life needy people who is like always needed you okay at least they are like needy i want you kind of thing so somewhere you got that confident or courage within yourself that this person is not going to leave me because they need me okay so that is where even though they really need you or not they used to make you to feel like i need you okay so you dealt with the energies who is like i need you kind of energies need you kind of energies but uh, this person is completely different they are independent they are not showing that they need you you are expecting that this person should be in a need energy so that i can go towards them but you are seeing that that person is very strong actually they don't need anyone when it comes to finances also they don't need anyone they are very independent when it comes to love also they don't need anyone they are self sufficient when it comes to protecting themselves they don't need anyone because they can protect themselves they themselves is a queen of swords actually people are scared of them if at all they get any problem they are like see i want someone to be with me to tell that it's okay everything will be fine they don't need anyone because they themselves is very strong <laughs> so finally you understood that this person is very strong enough actually they don't need anyone and moreover they are very intuitive so if at all you are coming with i'm not seeing your energy also like a bad energy the only thing is you are you always dealt with the people who is needy they always even though they are not needy they may be made you to feel like i need you kind of energy somewhere you felt secure or at least comfortable you felt comfortable that okay this person need me so they are not going to leave me <coughs> that's what you felt here this person is not doing that kind of thing 
at least they are not showing that they need you that's where you are like no how can i not even trust it is just in your own uh, codependency issue that's more nothing more than that <clears throat> and the same person this person is the same person going to help you to come out of the codependency issues now i'm really not getting how to explain these things to you with some beautiful example so you are expecting healing from one doctor but you are expecting that the doctor should be i will tell them how they should be they should be in that way then only i will take treatment from them okay and the doctor is if at all you tell me you dictate me how i should be then i'm i cannot heal you i hope you are understand this is the best example i can give because they are the your healer no doubt about it because you have some kind of pessimistic mindset or some kind of not releasing the past you don't know how to release the past or emotionally maybe immature or imbalance something uh, so here you are like no i want treatment uh, with the doctor but the doctor should be the way i dictate them they should be in that way and doctor is that if at all i am the way you dictate me i cannot heal you so now you understand what you want here i am not seeing that your past is affecting your past means that is the same thing that codependency issues that is the past now also it is there it is not i am not saying you left you came out of it you are still holding that codependency that is the reason you are expecting how is that happy ever after maybe you are going to get a tower moment which is like let me pull one card what is this how is that happy ever after is this some kind of tower moment or happy ending because your energy is different so your energy is different you are going to get some tower moment here maybe that person is going to become someone else's because you are not taking risk because you are like no 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 anita i cannot take uh, i can not even say that heal because this is a healer uh, that's why it is a typical typical means typical how i explained you found the doctor for your problem now the doctor can treat you you also know that it is not hidden from you you know that the doctor can heal you but the thing is you have your own fears that's where you are like no doctor you should be so and so way then only i can i will take treatment from you and the doctor is if at all i should be so and so way i cannot treat you i cannot heal you as simple as you dealt with the people who are needy so somewhere you thought that okay this people need me so they never going to leave me that's where you felt comfortable okay now this person is like i am not needy i am an independent person so that's where you were like carrying like no this is an independent person this person don't need me so if at all i dealt with this person what is the guarantee they are going to stay with me because they don't need me but if at all this person come into that needy energy they cannot heal you they cannot bring out of this four of pentacle ah what does this you are going to lose this person because you are seven of pentacle in the reverse i connect to the god force within the spinning see here really i am getting some strong messages which is like you may be doing something wrong to this person S suddenly i got that messages which is like you want to make this person to need need like you want to send this person into needy energy which may be like you are doing something bad to them where this person can lose their strength lose their uh finances lose their independence so that they can become that five of pentacle where they can be like i need someone so that time you want to be like yes now this person is a needy energy now i can have them no you are doing the wrong thing because they are divine feminine that is the reason why you are getting some strong 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 tower moment so what how your past is affecting your future is based on this card based on this card listen to me carefully you manifested someone in your life who is like a healer but why you that past manifestation is bringing you tower moment to you which is like a death kind of energy strongly the reason why i got this strong message is you are doing something to this person so that this person can lose their pentacles from 9 of pentacles to they should become that needy energy 
and they should not be queen of swords which is like you want them to be queen of swords in the reverse means if at all you want them you can easily have them they should be in the queen of cups energy where they should not listen to their intuition this is all like they should be they should lose their confident courage so that you want to do all these things to this healer because you cannot have them as they are are you mad whoever watching pal number 5 come into your consciousness that is the reason why you are getting this tower movement what is the what the hell you are doing to the someone if at all you you are not ready for someone leave them leave them you don't have courage to get someone leave them but you don't have any right to make someone to become something where you can have them very bad energy i got that last message sir thank you for watching so pile number 6 last pile but not least pile red pile okay so how your past is affecting your present so many will go and subscribe if at all you not subscribe if at all you already subscribe thank you for the subscription click the join button and have it get our youtube store watch the ads so how my pile number 6 past is affecting their present what is this pile number 6 no messages want to come out why this is why <laughs> how your past is affecting your present this is why <laughs> how your past is affecting your present oh lot of things okay that is the reason my cards are okay anita leave that anyway if at all we you say also they are not going to change they are not going to listen not change they are not going to listen how your past is affecting you are present anyway it is my responsibility <clears throat> so see uh, your past be ready i already shown the cards your past you don't know how to maintain equal give and take or you take advantage of people who are very generous kind who want to help you take advantage of those people yes i know it will trigger you they will because you work for the demons you don't know what is empathy sympathy love kindness light nothing you know only one thing darkness negativity toxicity sex drugs alcohol taking advantage of someone or simply you don't even care about other people's emotions because you are like a devil why i said <clears throat> eight of pens cups in the rivers you are completely out of your divine side you are not on the divine path you are completely on the demonic path i don't know who you are watching <sighs> now how you are past you went to the demonic side in the past i don't know how long how past it is how many years back you took that path which is like you sold your soul to the demon you know better than me when you sold your soul to the demon right how it is affecting your present you open your heart chakra for someone and you want that new beginning with them you are a devil but someone opened your heart chakra are you god some little feelings for someone it is like an clearly for you heart chakra awakening happened and you want new beginning with that person so one demon got feelings for someone now the demon want to have some new beginnings in their life which is a right, good thing it is not telling i'm not telling that you are a demon so you should be like a demon you can change your life then how it is affecting <clears throat> i 
let me pull some more cards how it is affecting your present how it is affecting your present you want two of cups with someone but you are not understanding you are not ready for the two of cups what is this devil what is the six of pentacle in the reverse what is this eight of cups in the reverse what is this eight of wands what is page of cups what is four of so five of swords in the reverse the sun see here uh, how your past is affecting your present is it is not it is about the healing but it is the strong healing which is like you may be already sold you were sold to the demon and now you want one divine connection who is like queen of swords that person is queen of swords and you feel that i want uh, the divine connection two of cups with them because you are seeing them like a queen of pentacle see listen to me carefully whoever watching you need to listen to your intuition i can understand you need to listen to your intuition but you cannot listen to your intuition because the you the connection whatever we used to have why we say that listen to your intuition that is nothing but connection to the universe universe will send you a lot of signs signs some downloads through dreams one way or other way universe communicate with us okay but in your case you already sold your you were sold to the demon but now you want to end the cycle and you want to heal this not maintaining equal give and take but still you are not listening to your intuition i will tell you the reason because even though you are showing like no anita i want to heal because uh, you are doing the readings i am he- heard your readings i want to change myself i want to end the demonic side whatever it may be maybe you accepted to do some illegal things you accepted to do that uh, addictions drugs whatever you want to end it that's a great thing and uh, in the past you failed to maintain equal give and take with this person now you want to change it you want to heal yourself so that you can maintain equal give and take with that person but still you are not listening to your intuition the reason why i said not listening to your intuition is first thing you are not seeing the truth and whatever new beginning you want with this person it became burden to you because you may be doing lot to get that person or that obsession itself became heavy to you <clears throat> you want new beginning or there is a, some new beginning for you they are waiting for you three of hands someone is waiting for you it is not single you are already dealing with someone that person want new beginning with you but you are not seeing the truth that they are your wish fulfillment the reason why you are not seeing the truth is you are not listening to your intuition the moment you listen to your intuition you will understand what is your wish fulfillment what is this three of wands see you already have someone in your life that's for sure 
the only thing is you are not listening to your intuition because uh, you may be showing i can understand it is going to trigger you you may be showing that no i want to end that entire uh, materialistic things whatever the devil energy carries i want to end i want to heal myself but still you are desiring for 10 of pentacle you are not desiring for 9 of cups or 10 of cups you are desiring for 10 of pentacle this desire for the materialistic thing is enough to tell that you are still in the control of devil that is the reason we got this devil upright even though you want to end the cycle still it is upright it is not if it is if it is reverse you already lost the control the devil is already lost the control over you but it is there that can be strong desire for the wealth materialistic things what is this three of wands you have someone in your life who is not accepting love as of now this person is like four of cups you may be you know that person it is a third party situation you already dealt with them in the passionate way you know that that person not interested in love that is also one reason you want them now whomever you are going towards who is like a queen of pentacle sorry queen of swords you want them two of cups but where is your cup and moreover this person also not queen of cups to you you should understand that this is not a queen of cups to you this is a queen of swords because they know that you are the devil and you just want but you somewhere you are feeling like no 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 this person don't know so i want to go and i want to tell that i opened my heart chakra maybe you opened your heart chakra that heart chakra then thing what you need to see the truth is you have new beginning with them who is not accepting the love as of now they may be not ready for the love but if at all you get them you both may be going to heal together which is like maybe they are also going to open their heart chakra what is this wheel of fortune or what is this two of cups with whom the two of cups is it is not of your business actually this person have two of cups with king of swords they are counterparts you don't get any new beginning here you are looking for some ace of wands new beginning what is see you have you are i'm not telling that you are completely alone now lonely that if at all you lose this person you are going to lose everything no you just need to take stand for yourself you are not taking the stand because you think that i have this kind of sorts i want this kind of sorts i have healed from the things because in the past i did not maintain that equal give and take now i am going to heal and yes i have addictions i am going to end that cycle as simple as if at all you have friends who used to call you for the parties drugs alcohol whom ever you need to you need to or at least a sexual partner one sexual partner you are addicted to them and you want to end that cycle with them but you are thinking that by doing this everything will be set you will be ready for the two of cups no you are not understanding how deeply you are into the devil's path <clears throat> here i am not telling you are not getting the chance here i am not telling that no you went to the devil devil's path so you are you are not going to come out no universe is giving you one chance that is the reason why universe opened your heart chakra they are sending someone who is not interested in love the reason why they are sending someone who is not interested in love is you also don't carry love moreover you are like a devil still you are like a devil <coughs> you will get new beginning with them with that person you are going to get new beginning not with this queen of swords because this queen of swords queen, king of swords both share two of cups as of now maybe they are not holding the cups but they may be like queen of cups king of cups but as of now based on their situations they need to hold the swords It's as simple as sometimes we need to protect our connection so that time we cannot hold the cups that time we should become this army couple who need who need to protect their union because if at all they are like queen of cups king of cups they cannot protect there will be lot of people forget about lot of people you are enough because you are a devil you don't want this people to come into the union because you want this 
टू ऑफ कप्स विद दिस क्वीन ऑफ कप क्वीन ऑफ सॉर्ट्स दैट इज़ द रीज़न इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस कपल टू बिकम दिस क्वीन ऑफ सॉर्ट्स क्वीन ऑफ सॉर्ट्स यूनिवर्स विल गाइड दैम दिस इज़ अ टाइम यू बोज शुड होल्ड द सॉर्ट्स दैट इज़ नथिंग बट इवन दो यू आर लविंग केयरिंग इमोशनल पीपल इमोशनल कपल दिस इज़ अ टाइम यू शुड कीप यूर इमोशंस ए साइड यू बोज शुड होल्ड द सॉर्ट This king of swords should be logical, strategic. This queen now should be very strict, where they should put strong boundaries to everyone. That is how they will protect their this two of cups. It is not that someone is holding two of cups. Means, yeah, you are king of cups. I am queen of cups. Let's come together. We will become two of cups. No, this is a huge story. When we I say two of cups, yes, I I am like a queen of cups. That person is king of cups, so we will become two of cups. No, you will become only loving couple. You need to hold this. Maybe <coughs> these people have ten of pentacle, and because of the ten of pentacle, you want this queen of pentacle. Because you think that if at all I get this queen of pentacle, I am going to build two of cups, and I am going to get ten of pentacle. Do you really think that Queen of Pentacles is Queen of Swords is going to accept you? They know who is their divine counterpart. That is the reason now two couples are like completely in their swords, like army couple. They need to protect their territory. Ha! <laughs> so <clears throat> leave that. Okay. I am not telling you need to listen to your intuition because here you are not in a position to do that. Accept, see the truth. Someone is there with whom you already dealt. That person, with that person, you have new beginnings. Not with this Queen of Swords. Understand that. Be honest with yourself because you know that this cup belongs to someone who is not interested in love. but just to because of the desire for this 10 of pentacle you want that queen of swords you know that be honest with yourself i'm not saying that you do, you are you don't know anything that is the reason you want this queen of swords no that is the reason i tell you can hide with everyone not with their psychic people okay you know everything who is your heart is beating for for whom you hold the feelings but the thing is anyway that person not having love they are not ready to take my cup so if at all i go towards also they won't take love better i will have this queen of swords because i am going to get ten of pentacle here and do you really think that that queen of pentacles swords is going to accept it <coughs> I believe in my ability to create miracles. See, if at all you are being honest with yourself, you will end up with this person. Okay. This is your wish fulfillment. You know the truth. You both are going to become ten of cups. This person may be whoever not interested in love, but they may be have the ability to build ten of pentacle. If at all you get this person. you are going to help them to build enough cups they will help you to build ten of pentacle you both are going to match not with this person because they already have divine counterpart okay they are well matured king and queen you are a page <coughs> so just listen to your intuition be honest with yourself okay don't run behind the 10 of pentacle it is a 10 of pentacle if at all you get someone who have the ability to build maybe you are going to build with them but you need to work on it simply someone is holding the some kind of abundance so i will get them i will get marry i am going to get the abundance no you you cannot get that because if someone is having some abundance means definitely there will be like some rules and regulations for that with whom they should share that abundance it is already written you cannot change that okay thank you for watching